So today I'm going to teach you how to use advanced REST client. So simply go to Google, open Google and type advanced, advanced REST client. Now, if you are building an API or you are learning how to build an API, you need to learn about advanced REST client. So go to Google Chrome and then open it, enter advanced REST client and then install it. I've already installed it, so I'll simply launch it. So what I'm going to show you is how to make requests, how to make GET and POST requests. Okay, so when you open it for the first time, or when you install it for the first time, you will likely see a blank uh, screen or a blank uh, uh, interface like this. This is what you will see. Now, I'm building an API that actually uh, keeps record of student courses or student subjects and location. So now if I go to my browser and make a request to this API I'm building, let's say I make an API to let's say localhost at port 8080. Okay, so I'm making an API to locations. You can see that it gives me a list of locations in my application. Okay, that is fine. Now, if I want to make a POST request, a POST request will require that a user imputes something like a, a, a fill the form and then submit. That is a POST request. Now, your browser cannot help you test this API. So, if you want to make a POST request, a PUT request, or a DELETE request, you cannot test it with your browser as I'm doing right now. So you need a tool, and that tool is Advanced REST Client. Before now, there is this other one called uh, the Postman REST Client. But well, this is simply, it seems that it's not free right now. So Advanced REST Client is the best to use at this point. So now I'm going to make this same request now using Advanced REST Client. So let me just copy the URL, simply copy and just paste it in here. Just paste it there. So if you paste it, okay, and that is fine. So at this point, you can now set the method you want. Is it get, put, delete, patch, head, and so on and so forth. So I'm making a get request to this URL and I want a response, okay? So if I send, you can see that it gives me the same items I have in the browser. So if I open the browser and you can see that this is exactly the same items I have in here, right? So the next thing now is that I want to make a POST request. And this is where you need to pay attention because you need to cite some parameters in this REST, uh, advanced REST client for you to make a POST request. One thing you need to set is the content type and then you want to set uh, enter, uh, the values you want to impute into the body. So a POST request, it means I'm trying to create a new location because we have one two, three, four, four locations returned in JSON format. The location has ID and name. So I want to create a new request, a new location, like I want to fill a form and submit a new location to the system. So how do I do this? So the first thing you want to do is to come down to parameters. And then at this point, you might actually not see all of this. So if you install it for the first time, this is what you likely will see. So what you want to do is to go to headers and enter content type, and then choose uh, application JSON. Choose application JSON. Also, we want to make a post request, so just drop down and choose post at this point. So now we have header, content type, application JSON. Now we want to fill a form, we want to, let me take all these so that I can start from the scratch. So we want to enter a new location. The best thing you want to do is you, you take the uh, existing location and then paste it there. So it's actually a JSON object. So you can actually type it out if you want. You can just type it out uh, just like a normal JSON, but that would take, uh, that would be a little bit stressful. So. I want to add location called location 100. Location 100, and the name of this location is, okay. <clears throat> so 
Okay, let, let me add some something that is not already existing. So let's just add uh, Upest. Upest is a is a is a place in Hungary. Upest Budapest. All right. So this is how you specify the body. Take note that I'm in this body tab here, and here in variables you just leave it exactly the way it is. All right. So take note of what we want to add, and I'm going to send this request right now. I'm going to send it, and now you can see that it tells us 200 OK. So 200 OK means everything was successful. Now I want to check if actually this item was inserted into the system. So what we do is change this to, to get, and then make the request again. So at this point, you can see that we inserted a new item into the system. So this is how to use REST, uh, REST web uh, advanced REST client. Along the line, you'll also see that we'll use, in our tutorial on Spring Boot, we'll also get to use put. We are going to use the link. Maybe at some point, we are going to use patch. So I'd like to thank you for viewing, and i also like to remind you to subscribe, like this video, and also maybe um, uh, switch on the notify button below the, uh, beside the subscribe so that you get notified when I make new lessons. I remain kind to the genius and we'll see you in the next lesson.